Night's Kitchen, what are going out there? So, today in the Night's Kitchen, what I'm going to be showing you how to make is fried chicken, okay? So, what I've got here is my chicken, and as you can see, it's properly clean. Remove all the, the waste, the, the blood and everything out from it, all the unnecessary stuff. See, it's properly clean, properly washed. Okay, guys, always clean up your meat and remove the, 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 the excess um stuff from the meat that we don't like see okay so i'm going to show you what i use on my fried chicken and how i season it very simple so i've got my all purpose just a bit of all purpose not too much and then i'm going to add some paprika to it yeah And then what I do is just mix that sweet, make sure it's um mix it. And guys, if you want to put on a gloves and rub it in, you know, at this case I'm probably just use my hands, it's just three pieces of meat. I don't like seasoning on my hands, but it's not a lot. So just gonna rub that in. You know, so I'll be putting on that is a bit more paprika, not much. You know, some people put scallion, thyme, onion, peppers and stuff on it and leave it to marinate. Okay? But you don't fry the chicken with those stuff on it if you wish to use it. For me, I just keep it simple. I just put the necessary, just this seasoning. And then what I'll do now, see, that's it. And then what I'll do now is leave that for about half an hour, 45 minutes. And then I'm going to start frying it. I'll come back, I'll show you how to make the flour and everything, prepare the butter, okay? All right, guys. Now I'm going to prepare, start preparing the chicken. So what I've got here is a bowl with some plain flour. And then to that, I'm just going to add... Season here, you can season your flour guys. Just put some all, I don't just put in some all purpose in there. And a bit of the paprika. Same, same, same ingredients I use on the chicken. And then I'm just gonna stir that. Just give that a stir. So there you go. And guys, if you want to put a bit of black pepper in here, you can as well. If people like using black pepper on your chicken. You know, a keep of salt, black pepper, and whatever you choose. So, I've got my chicken here ready. And what I'm going to be doing is, I'm going to put three eggs on it. But I'm going to be just using the egg white. So, all you do is just make a hole in the top of the egg. And both eggs. Both eggs. And then just, the white will just run out like that. Okay, you can see, let's come straight out, not the egg, yo, that's the white I'm using. And also if you want, you wish to use like milk, you can, dip a little milk on it if you wish. Or if you wish to use a bit of flour, plain flour, mix, just mix it out like put water in it and mix it out and just add it to it not too watery but a little bit of paste okay so I'm just putting three you can put two it depends on what you want to use and once your once your egg is added then you just mix it up properly and what that creates is a butter so when you when you dip your chicken in the flour it stick to it and then your oil is hot
Wow, chicken jump out of the container. I'm going to tell you so the bird will fly. Alright guys, I'm just going to wash my hands now. Wash my hands. So guys, I've got my oil here going. Okay, my oil is already, it's at temperature. So now I'm going to add the chicken. So, few tips guys. I'm going to add two bits of chicken in the flour at each, each time. So first I'm going to start with the leg. You don't have to start with the leg, you can choose whatever. I'm just, these are the first two pieces came up. So I'm just chopping, putting them straight down in the oil. So, guys, with the legs, again, hold the knuckle, hold the chicken by there and then squeeze out the air just pull the chicken down okay and squeeze the air out and when I squeeze if you look at there you can see it just coming come straight down so and I'm going to show you a demonstrator you just do one sip and then I just knock your hands and then you can put them straight in and guys I'm going to do I'm going to put one in there where I'm not going to squeeze out there you're going to see the difference so this one, I'm just going to flour it. So one, one is going to be just flour. I'm just going to put that straight down. And one I'm going to squeeze out the air out of it. And you'll see the difference when we finish frying. Okay? And because I've started here, I'm just going to add pure legs to that. I'm just doing leg, I'm just frying leg and thighs. No breast, nothing. No wing. Just pure leg and thighs. Okay? So here you go, guys. Once that is going, then you just wash your hands. I'm about to remove. First set our leg, our chicken, first batch from the, the fryer, the cooker, or the, the Jamaica with some Dutch pot. So guys, at this stage you can always use a tongue if you're not confident using a fork, so you can nip it or we call it nipper. Okay? And all you know the chicken is fried is when you you can either leave it until you see the chicken start flowing, so you know say it properly soaked. Or you can just put your fork straight, straight, straight through it, yeah? Right through it. And if you notice what I'm doing, I'm draining as much oil from the chicken in the pot. Back straight in the pot, go straight back in the pot before I put it on the tray. That's frying, you know, once you fry, you know, absorb the oil. Okay, guys, and just a quick thing, let me show you. Um, so, you remember when we, so we squeeze out the air out the chicken? So, if you look at how these ones came out compared to to that one you can see that the skin is not covered the chicken the bottom bit is not covered but if you compare it to this you realize everything all the skin come down nicely and round you know so it don't look too like it's skin up I would do me like I would say skin up for a look so yes guys so first batch done so i'm gonna put in now a batch of ties okay so with the ties so this is already i've already put i'm using the same container that i used before with the for the legs so i've just added a one egg over this because it was there was some remaining in the, in the container some remains in the container so with the tie guys what i generally do with the tie is if, you, if I turn it this way, so there's a bone just there, 
So what I tend to do is break the bone. So as you can see, if you look closely, you will see that the bone poking out there. So what that does is, it allows the Thai to soak or cook quickly without being at the fire for a, a numerous amount of minutes. You know, so once you crack it, it soak properly and quickly. Okay, so as before, I'm gonna start with two pieces. You know, try to do it in a container where you can actually move the chicken around in the flour. So what I'm gonna be doing is adding one bit at a time anyway, even though I'm flouring up two pieces. So my chicken, I'm doing it with the skin on. So any excess I've tucked under, tucked under night neatly, okay? And hold up in that position. So when the chicken come out, it look nice and fluffy. So you tuck under any excess. Just put it down there nicely. Don't be afraid, but don't touch the aisle, yeah? <laughs> and don't drop the chicken in the pot. It will splash up it and burn itself. We don't want that in the kitchen. We don't want any finger inside of the chicken. Or in the pot. Or on the chicken, I should say. Not finger chicken. So guys, I'm doing a good portion here, so I'm using a large dutchie. A large dutchie can fit up to... Probably you could put 10 pieces in here, but... I'm not gonna overkill it. When you put the chicken in there, don't try and stir it. Straight away, just leave it. Yes, guys. So all the chicken, once you, once you, once you put all the chicken in the pot, just cover your pot. Cover the pot, okay? And then with the flame, you can turn up your your, your flame, okay? And then after five or Ten minutes, they just turn it down to a level, mid range, so your chicken can soak. Okay, guys. Yes, guys. So I'm about to remove the ties from the pot. Our right, next, the second batch of chicken. So what I'm showing you here is to check when the chicken is ready. You just like for me, I'm just using a fork. If you're using a deep pot fryer, you can time it. Use timer about 15, 20 minutes max. So my fire now can go straight through the chicken. So and the chicken, as you can see, it has float. So once it has float, it's ready. You can, you can have it. I remove it from the pot. Uh, fry it. So as you can see, guys, look. So that's my finishing tie. And that's how they look. Okay. We're on road to for yet another week delivering to the um, essential working team, a particular essential working team. So 
So this week is our third week doing this. And as I said, we're gonna continue into another week or two or a few more weeks. You know, so far I want to just say thank you to everyone who have contributed. You know, so we have we have a few people who have contributed this week financially to, to the to the cause. So I want to just say thank you very much. And thanks to everyone who have been supporting us over the last few weeks while we are, you know, promoting this thing and doing this thing. So again guys, just hit the subscription button, comment, share, you know, and hit the notification for lots more videos and, and lots more things coming out of Night's Kitchen. So we just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone. Thank you.